I might as well do that. Check, check. Check, check. Ooh, those, those feet. A little behind, but here we go. Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to another episode of the Murphy Street Podcast. I'll be your host, Murphy. Joining me this evening is my man, Bronson B. Tell everybody what's up. What's up, guys? How's it going? The rules of Murphy Street are simple and always the same. Shoes and slippers at the door, come inside, and let's talk story. Bronson, you said it yourself, it's been a while, so what have you been yes. up to? Yes. Hello. Uh, hello. <laughs> Just recently, I went to the swap meet this morning. Hey. Uh, yeah, so I found these. It's like old school toys from the oh. 90s, and they're only 50 cents. Mm. 50 cents each? 50 cents, yeah. So I just bought whatever so ones they had. What we want to talk about first is the cons that are coming up. Well, we've got cons. Yeah, we've, we've got cons. So the first one that we'll talk about is Ken from the Heart of Hawaii and Brian BT from BT Toys. They're creating a Aloha Con 2021. That'll be March 6th and March 7th. So March 6th is the night, I believe the hours are from 6 to 8 at From the Heart of Hawaii. And that is the night that all of the pieces will be out on display for sale. They have over 20 different artists that have designs there. Well, Bronson, you actually were kind of more into this level of art and collectibles than I was when I first started. Do you know like Quicks? Do you know any of the local artists? That now might be I do know Quicks. Yeah. Um, Quicks is pretty dope. I don't know if you're familiar with Dunnies, Bunny Dolls. Mm -hmm. People used to do custom Bunny Dolls. Literally, they used to have art shows downtown where people would have their dunnies and custom what? Uh, monies on display and that's kind of what sparked this whole subculture subculture yeah. and um underground street toys i guess yeah and that's or what like, i call it i call it like the underground toys and then now it's like turned into a hype beast thing right a lot of people are like wow they're just toys but like in hype beast culture these things are like display pieces that people actually oh yeah keep in their houses oh yeah stuff, it's, so. it's real but just to go back to aloha Khan 2021 some of the artists that we have named here are um colin hoffman or aka big c i know that he's featuring it's called baby fats it's a little green resin um like a baby dragon it's pretty cool and there's also richard page aka ume toys with geek walk um dave badia unit 18 now this custom this one-off custom is pretty dope bronze we have uh tanovit 23 with the Pito Hui. A lot of these guys are on display right now. Pito Hui, if I remember correctly, had a pigeon with a skull kind of helmet that comes on and off of it. And Jan Kalasia, various printed TPLA and, and found object art toys. Christy Kitsune, this is Fluff Right. Fluff Right has these really cute little kitten pieces with headphones. And I believe the one for this one are painted with uh, Sakura or cherry blossoms oh, all around them. If you guys haven't seen it on the From the Heart of Hawaii page, she does feature some of these pieces. Flab Slab and Louis Davia are doing a collab for a Baby Kong Evangelion piece. We have Resin Works and Custom Lab are working on an Artisan War Mode, one of one. Big C and Fifth Turtle are doing Dead Can. Hot Actor is also collabing with Fifth Turtle. He has Raw Man, the Waimea version. Have you ever heard of Raw Man? Is it like these little ramen cup looking things? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I so think I might have seen it in Kenya. It's like a like a guy in a hoodie with a ramen head. Oh, that's cool. I call him Ramen Head. I am what works in Fifth Turtle are doing catnip. So a lot of dope pieces. The thing is, is a lot of these pieces go five or less. Wow. Like I said, there's a one of one. Um, they, I don't know how many they produce of that Unit 18 custom one off the Dave Badia piece. That piece is so dope. Now their pieces will be on display. The artists themselves will not be there. Although for what I can confirm, Hot Actor will be there. Obviously BT, Brian Tiano is putting on the event along with Kenneth from the Heart of Hawaii. So they'll both be there obviously. March 6th from 6 to 8, I'll be there. March 7th at 3 p.m. We're doing a Facebook Live and Instagram Live where I believe it's seven sketches and Hot Actor are doing a sketch off. Oh wow. Yeah. And also they're doing auctions that day as well. As well. So. Uh, Are we, all these local artists too? No, no, as a matter of fact, that's a great question. Thank you. I do know that La Lava is coming in, or her pieces have come in from Thailand. So yeah, a lot of dope stuff happening at Aloha Khan 2021. Once again, that is March 6th and March 7th. March 6th will be from 6 to 8 p.m. March 7th, check them out, or check us out, I should say, because I should be there as well. Starting at 3 p.m., it'll be on IG Live and Facebook Live. If, um, if it's not on BT Toys, it'll definitely be on from the Heart Hawaii, so make sure you check that out. For more fantastic news for us Hawaii folks is the fact that we got word of the first annual Spring Break Collector Show. It'll be at Dave & Buster's The Paina Showroom. That is happening March 13th. So the week after. The yeah. week after, yeah. Because we are a show for collectors by collectors, I am trying my darndest to get in touch with the people so that we can be there and broadcast from there. The one thing that I have heard from more than one source is that all tables are taken. 
I guess that's a good thing. That is. That's a <laughs> great thing. That that tells you what the vendors here are expecting as far as a response from the people such as ourselves <laughs> uh, and what they expect us to do. Because I can tell you what, if if we aren't able to broadcast from there, you can count on us to be there. And I know that one goes from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. And it's not a two-dayer. So, you know, ordinarily yeah. when it's Comic-Con, you know, you see a piece, you kind of like, ah, you know, I'll come back tomorrow, see if it's here, and hopefully I can whittle down the price. You got a couple hours to, to make that action happen, so don't, don't think about that. Admission is free, yeah. so you can absolutely count on us to be there. So once again, you guys do not forget AlohaCon 2021, March 6th, March 7th. Following week, March 13th, Dave & Buster's from, three, uh, from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Um, in the Paina Showroom, the first annual Spring Break Collector's Show. Oh, and in other card news, I don't know, I think they're gonna do, uh, what is it, Kauai Con too. Oh yes, oh yes, that November. was, you're right, you're right, I am so sorry, you're absolutely right, yes. Yeah. So Kauai Con is supposed to be back on again this year. It's gonna be kind of weird in November though, I'm, I'm more used to it in the beginning of the year, or like the middle of the year. Um, Alright, well you guys, thank you so much for waiting. Here it is, uh, Bronze, so we're gonna do a couple spins. Okay. How many do you want? To be yeah, unique. Lucky yeah. number three. Okay. All right. You guys ready? Lucky number three. Spin number one. Would have gone to a Kimstagram. If it was just one spin, it would have been her, but it is not. Eric this one went to Eric Yo, Egg Fu Young. Third spin. Hey, Bronson, you press it. Three, I want to be. three. Okay. Okay, you can, you you can three. play Bronson. Here we go for the winner of the Pancho Balas prize pack. Oh. We got. Evan <laughs> Once again, check out my guy Pancho Abalos at P Abalos on Instagram. You can also check out his website. Right now, I believe he has pre orders still up for his Bo Katan shirt. And that's at www.ponchoabalos.com. So check him out. Check him out. That'll be dope to see that in Vegas. Yeah, 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 <laughs> it would be. You know, I've been in behind Bubba Fett here. It just says in Japanese Bubba Fett. Yeah. Suniko <laughs> Hunter. <laughs> All right, let's go. WandaVision episode seven. No, wait, episode eight. Episode eight, right? Episode eight. What do we think, Bronze? How are we feeling? Man, there was so much to digest within that episode. Yeah, well, because it was a walk back in time, right? And we got yeah, to it see, was. it kind of like explain, like slowly turn the pages for us, right? It, it was, for me, it, it felt like a filler episode before the finale. But you're absolutely right. It was a filler episode, but at the end of it, we got to see Agatha Harkness with the two boys kind of in a chokehold. Mm -hmm. So that's why we got progression. Uh, in researching a little more, of course, we saw the, I believe it was Barstool Sports or Barstool.com um, or maybe it was a guy show. Somebody um, had an interview with Paul Bettany who plays Vision. Mm -hmm. Such a brilliant actor. Amazing actor. I'm such a huge fan of his. Um, as a matter of fact, we went back and watched Age of Ultron. Mm. Go back and watch Age of Ultron. Just Age of Ultron. Um, it, it is such a great show to watch coming off of or in the depths, in the thralls of this WandaVision because one, let's be honest, Pietro in this one, the Marvel Studios, Pietro was way better than the Evan Peters, I gotta say, man. And then of course, to me, one of my favorite things is, well, I love Vision, I love to hear Vision talk, but is the dialogue between Vision and Ultron. Basically what Paul Bettany said in this interview is that he worked with someone that he had been really looking forward to working with and was honored to work with. He said that it was going to be someone we hadn't seen yet, but yeah. also like really intense. Really under wraps. That is, that happens. And I work with this actor that I have always wanted to work with. Oh! And we have fireworks together and uh, the, the scenes are great. And uh, I think people will be really excited. Uh, I've, I've always wanted to work uh, with this guy, and uh, it's pretty. The scenes are pretty intense. So I that, mean, that was, but very much so had us <laughs> guessing as to what it could be. But where did we land on who we feel like is going to be the surprise character? Who do we feel like is going to be that know, character? I, I, and I'm not sure if I shared this with you, but I love Star Star Flores when she says Ian McKellen. No way. That, that's her guess. But I thought it was a fantastic that, that damn guess. That would be brilliant. Right? I mean, that was my hope too. Oh, yeah. I told, but didn't I tell you that? Wouldn't it be dope if we had Professor X Oh, Patrick show Yes. Yeah, you did. Oh, yeah. Obviously, Benedict Cumberbatch. Oh, maybe it could be him too. Well, yeah, but he's also the logical one. But CeeLo had an interesting point. Well, what if it's two people? Wow. 
Wow, that would be... Because, okay, let me be honest, Benedict Cumberbatch is an assumption. Like, you have to assume that Benedict Cumberbatch is that dude. He starts says, as long as we don't get trolled with Ryan Reynolds, I would love Ryan Reynolds. I think that he's great. Be... As much as I love Ryan Reynolds, it would make zero sense. And if, if um, Disney's trying to merge, well, Disney Marvel is trying to merge with Fox, then it has to have come from X-Men. It has to. You guys, we will be doing the finale live from CeeLo's house. For the what? finale, we started it at CeeLo's and we will be ending it at CeeLo's house. So make sure that you guys join the Murphy Street Podcast as we go live from CeeLo's spot. We are going to watch there. I'm anticipating an hour plus. What are you thinking? It would make sense for it to be an hour. Do not forget that we will have our drawing on Sunday on the Murphy Street Podcast page. We do have a drawing for you to win the entire Wave 1 set of the WandaVision Funko. It's as easy as coming on to our IG Live like Star and Evan do and then just giving us a comment. But okay, you guys, so we want to do what's on our table and it's going to be an Ooh, unboxing of this? sorts. Yes. Yeah. So the reason why I wanted to do this is because we're just about to wrap up WandaVision. There are some ties to the Fantastic Four. So this is the Fantastic Four Venomized Funko Mystery box i only really want the, the chase the chase yeah if it's not the chase we might just have to give this away there's five pieces of something in this box that's and you don't know what it is like i, I have no don't idea know what i don't think or... it's a shirt um although i love i have to say this you guys if you guys don't have any the Funko shirts are so comfortable it's ridiculous pull it out we're not gonna look in so don't look in but you're looking in but you're looking in uh -huh. grab it from the top all right oh is that a super scroll a it super looks scroll? like a a pin, all right. Uh, I have a Venomized Fantastic Four sticker. I always thought the Fantastic Oh, you can look now. Yeah. All right, it's a Venomized what Galactus. Oh, Venomized Galactus, I'm sorry. Spencer? Yes, I got a Venomized Dr. Doom? Doom. Yeah, so you know what? And last the moment, they've all been waiting trouble. for. Invisible Girl. Invis invisible girl, I think it's oh, invisible woman. Invisible girl? AKA Invisible, um, invisible Alba. Invisible Alba. <laughs> so that will do it for us here on the Murphy Street Podcast. We want to make sure that we thank our sponsors. First of all, sponsor Garen Chun. Thank you so much for all of your help. But definitely to thank our partner sponsor from the Heart Hawaii. Do not forget that if you are a collector of any kind, um, from the Heart Hawaii is where you want to stop by to make sure that you jump off in the right direction for your collecting needs. They have everything you need there from sports cards, Pokemon cards, Stickers, like I said, Aloha Con is happening there, so they do the underground types of toys. If you want to go someplace to get a good deal, From the Heart Hawaii is definitely the place that you want to go. Also, make sure that you guys check us out on Spreaker, Apple iTunes, iHeart Radio, and Spotify. Also, don't forget to follow us on YouTube at Murphy Street Productions. There you can check all of our stuff. Out. Other than that, you guys, Bronx, you want to tell them where they can find you at? You can find me either here or on my hobby page, uh, those for underscore toy box. You can find me at Murphy Street 808. That is M U R P H Y S T R E E T 808. Once again, you guys, we want to thank you so much for the drawing. Don't forget about our guy Pancho Balos at P Abalos on Instagram or www.ponchobalos.com. And other than that, you guys, until the next time, don't forget your slippers. Aloha.